Hey guys, I've been talking about this for a while. The CCNA is renewing this year. It's happening. <laughs> and it's not just the CCNA. It's like every Cisco certification, everything's changing. And um, network programmability is very much a part of that. Don't take my word for it. David Bumble and I got a chance to interview the CTO and SVP of Cisco DevNet, Susie Wee. Check it out. And also, hey, this is crazy big news. Uh, I'm gonna give my thoughts after the video, so stick around. Anyways, let's get to the interview. Go. So we are announcing uh, oh. new Cisco certifications, Did you and hear specifically that? Yeah. DevNet certifications. Wow. That's okay. Huge. So, so hold on a minute. It's huge. Is, are we still going to have CCNA? Are we still going to have those? Absolutely. Things? So based. So we've been working really closely with the team that creates Cisco certifications, yeah. and they've been evolving the program itself. So the new Cisco certification program has one CCNA. Oh wow. A Cisco certified network associate for people entering the workforce, making sure they have the basics of networking they need to go and work as part of a team, get going on networking. That's amazing. So, so, it's, so it's like it's like the new CSINT kind of. Yes. Okay. Well, it's 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 the it's that stage of yes, the CCNP, so at the at the next stage kind of beyond the CSINT, mm -hmm. they're going to have a CCNA and then at the professional level, CCNP five areas for CCNP, so enterprise, service provider, wow. data center, security, and collaboration. And then having, of course, CCIE in those five areas as well, also adding enterprise wireless as well. So oh, wow. that wow. will go through. There's a new uh, specialist. So there's a specialist certification, which lets you get technology concentrations in different areas. So you're saying, hey, I want to dive in on firepower. I'm going to use that. I want to dive in in these other areas. I'm going to do it. But now that's the yeah. evolution of the networking portion. What's happening with DevNet? And then brand new DevNet Associate certification. Is it wow. like Cisco Certified DevNet Associate? Is that right? It's, uh, it's like, like CCNA. It's like, okay, it's uh, like the CCNA. Cisco Certified Network Associate, but now it's the Cisco DevNet Associate. Oh, wow. We didn't give it a letter. We were trying to think about if we should <laughs> give it a letter, but we just decided to go with DevNet Associate. DevNet. So, so, That's if, right. if, so we don't have a so it wouldn't be like CDA or anything. We don't know yet. We couldn't CCDA. come up with enough, so we just decided to go with DevNet Associate. Okay, DevNet okay, Associate. Yeah. Only associate level. And then we also have DevNet Professional. Okay. And so with the DevNet Professional, it will get, so DevNet Associate gets you to that first level of understanding about software. Not every software developer is the same. So just because yeah. you like wrote mobile app that can, you know, work on someone's iPhone or Android phone, doesn't mean you can write code for a running network. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. So what we're doing is making sure people can use APIs and can use APIs securely. Right, so there's a number of things. And then we're also making sure in that DevNet Associate certification, they have a little bit of networking knowledge as well so that they okay. can converse with networkers. So some of our networkers said, listen, okay, so I do want to work with those software developers, but they have a completely different way of thinking. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to them. Yeah. Yes, they do. So, <laughs> and I mean, that, so they don't care about the network. Training. Yeah, yeah. And okay. they haven't been aware. Yeah, they like, haven't been aware that it can be useful to them. So, so two questions. I keep saying two questions, but I have got two. Is yes. there a CCIE kind of equivalent? Okay, so there's the CCN, uh, so the DevNet Associate. Yeah. Next is the DevNet Professional. Okay. So the DevNet Professional has the same level of rigor as a CCNP, yeah. but for software. And with software, then you can actually make sure that, again, you understand how to bring to practice. You're that more senior level professional that's ready to bring their software skills yeah. into networking, so it certifies you for that role. Wow. Over time, we're gonna introduce a DevNet expert. We don't wow. have it right now, but we My will do goodness. that. Sorry. We're gonna go out with CC, with the DevNet associate and the DevNet expert. And, oh, sorry, DevNet there professional. She, she said it. No, 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 I didn't say it, I didn't say it. <laughs> I did say it, my mistake. But over time, we're gonna come out with the DevNet professional. Now, the other thing, as I told you, is that there's those specialist certifications. Yeah. We have DevNet specialist certifications to learn about. And actually, these are shared, some of them are shared certifications with the um, Cisco networking certifications because what we have is like uh, automation and programmability of enterprise networks, automation and programmability of security. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. But also we have some um, DevNet specialists certifications for DevOps, IoT, oh, wow. WebEx, 
so that you can actually also get into these other topics. And we're going to be adding more specialist, you know, technology concentrations over time. So do you, wow. the other question I had was, is this the DevNet certification, is it geared towards networking people or Good is question, it geared yeah. to developers? Or That's a great mix of both? question. That's a great question. So, and actually we've taken feedback from some of the places that we sneak previewed the news is, Originally, we were kind of thinking there's a network engineer track yeah. and you need to put some software skills into that. Yeah. And then the DevNet is a separate software developer track. Yeah. But then what we found out is that doesn't make sense. Like, so for example, people were saying, listen, I want every CCIE in my organization, they talked to some of the leaders, to have some software skills. Makes sense, yeah. So, and um, you know, and basically vice versa, like if someone's building out wireless networks, they should know a little bit about wireless networks as well as developing applications for wireless networks. Okay, yeah. So what happens is the combination makes sense. So rather than kind of saying one is for one track, one is for the other, we're viewing these as certifications that people can earn and they can mix and match and take their choices of those technology uh, concentrations to build the skills they need. So um, here's an example. So like a new job role, uh, because you know, really we want there's new job roles because of all this new technology. Yeah, right, yeah. DevSecOps, yeah. a DevSecOps engineer. Well, that's an interesting term, DevSecOps. So yeah. developer, <laughs> security, operational type person. Absolutely, yeah. so, what we, so how would you earn that? So the way that you would earn that is that you could say, listen, I'm a CCNP in security. Yeah. So I'm solid on security. I'm a professional level security. I've learned how to create secure solutions using different Cisco technologies and others, I understand all of the concepts that I need to be a professional level security. But then I can also take specialists. So I can start to then take a Cisco um, specialist for um, automation and programmability yeah. of security solutions. Yeah. But then I can actually also go in and take a DevNet certification, a specialist on, on DevOps. Right, and so you can start to actually mix and match these. And then you could also add in a DevNet specialization on WebEx teams so that you're actually now having chatbots to allow SecOps teams to work together using the, you know, the monitoring and alerts that are coming in from the network. So you get to That's just suddenly wow. combine these things to Changes train everything. up for these new roles. Now you're wow. saying DevSecOps, is that like an official like title thing you can, it can gain in Cisco? We're gonna, well, so let's see, what we're gonna do is I think in the industry, these things are gonna form. So what we're gonna do is learn by these, because again, there's new sets of technologies that are changing how networking is done, right? right? And the power that we can bring together. So there's DevOps, there's SecOps teams that are coming. This DevSecOps role is something that we believe will emerge and we want to get people ready for it. Do you want another example? Yes, please. Of course, please. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask you yeah. that. The pick and mix option is We're going to make yeah, you stay yeah, here yeah, all day. Do, no, yeah. I'm <laughs> one last one, and then we're going to run off. But IoT architect. So IoT architect, okay. IoT architect. That sounds exciting. So mm. to be an IoT architect, what happens is with things like Wi-Fi 6, right? There's new technology capability so that you can actually instrument up a manufacturing plant. We know that there's better battery life on those sensors because of the technology advances of Wi-Fi 6. Mm -hmm. We know that there's higher density, so you could actually really digitize that plant. Yeah. So in order to train up for an IoT architect position, you probably would want to earn your DevNet professional certification to ensure that you have the software skills that you can operate in a networked environment. But on top of that, what you may do is then earn your Cisco certified wireless specialization okay. so that you can build high density wireless networks, mm. right? And then on top of that, you may want to have, of course, a DevNet IoT certification so that you can deploy edge applications to the network. And then you may actually also then want to get something like a security certification to make sure that you can automate threat detection yeah. in that network. Wow. That's huge. Just that would be a nice set of skills, wouldn't uh, yeah, it? Yeah, I, th I think I so. I think you'd be able to get a lot of jobs <laughs> if you had that set of skills. Mm -hmm. Definitely, but i got one more question for <laughs> yeah. you. If I can steal one more question. It's, so with a CCMP in the past, it was like a set set of courses that you had to take. But it sounds like it's like you use the pick and mix, I think, term. Yes. You can like take a few courses. Choose your own adventure. Choose yeah, your own yeah, adventure. Yeah. So that what changes happens everything. is it does change everything. So again, and this is where the team that creates the certifications have really um, advanced this to where there's again those five professional certifications. In each one, there's a core exam, 
and then you need one of those um, specialists. Yeah. It could be a it could be a Cisco specialist or a Cisco DevNet specialist. You can pick and choose from either That's of those right. to then earn that professional certification. That's such a change. Wow. It, it is, is a change. That is, that's change. monumental, but it's so cool because we can now position ourselves to meet those new demands in the market. I mean, it's it's crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and the CCNA has been behind. Sorry, go on. No, no, go <laughs> ahead. I was just going to say, like, it hasn't changed for so long. And this is like the first major change in many, many years. 26 years since the first CCIA amazing, in 1993. Eh? Uh, yeah. You know, in the team, the team is incredible. So we've had the pleasure, like DevNet, the new kids on the block have had yeah. the pleasure of working <laughs> the with cool the cool kids on the Cisco block. Yeah. That has yeah. uh, created the certification. And they think of their certification community first. Like they think of them first in everything that they do, but collectively we've been working together. This is the biggest change in the certification program in 26 years. And what we believe is that it's gonna help our networkers and our entire community feel confident about their careers in the next 25 years. I agree. Oh, yeah. and one more thing. Oh, you got oh, one more thing. Oh, and this one more thing. Steve Jobs, thing. Thing. Okay, here we we'll go. Just do one <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Cisco Networking Academy. Yes. So the way that we bring people into our workforce is through Cisco Networking Academy, yeah. where uh, you know they've trained 9.2 million students wow. across around the globe, um, and they've been training people so that when they finish, they actually earn those CCNA or yeah. CCNP certifications, and then. Our ecosystem, our partners and customers love to hire them because they know they have this level of skill and they can enter the workforce. Yeah. We're going to be expanding the Networking Academy program to also get students ready for the DevNet Associate and DevNet Professional oh, certifications. That's, right. that's exciting. That's great. Mm -hmm. So they will not only bring networkers in, but we're also going to bring in software instructors and students who want to be developers and kind of be on the software side train them up, give them like, again, 80% software, 20% networking, so that they're also familiar with this world and ready to enter our workforce. so important because That's developers crazy. didn't know about networking, networkers didn't know about developers, but you're like tying it all together. We are. Yeah. We are. It's, so it's like those software boot camps you see where you get trained up to be like a you know front end developer, but it's not for networking. Yes. That's so cool. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my goodness. So, okay. That's all I have. So Susie, I just want to say <laughs> thanks so much. This I is, mean, from both she's of She's amazing. Us. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. No, yeah. thank you for everything that you do oh, and everything you. that you do for your communities. And we are just ready to work together to make this next generation super, super adventurous. Thank you so much. No, this is going to be yeah. fun. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, this is pretty big news for Cisco certifications. I mean, we, we got a new CCNA. Um, you probably have a lot of questions because I don't even know what the CCNA is going to be like. We know that programming is here to stay and that Cisco is giving us options to start to certify in that. And they're creating certification tracks to jump into those roles. It's kind of crazy. And then one CCNA, no CCNA security, no CCNA collaboration, just CCNA, the gateway to the rest of all the certifications. And then you specialize with the CCMP and then you mix and match and build this awesome like certification uh, Android or <laughs> transformer. It, it's really cool. Let me know what you think about that. Now, I don't know much else beyond that right now. Uh, I'm gonna discover that. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this, because I have a ton of questions. So let me know. I mean, yeah, is every CCMP gonna be renewing? What about the CCIEs? It's kind of a big deal, but I'm excited. So the future's here, guys. The future is here. <laughs> and it's kind of crazy to see that certifications are starting to match what uh, David and I have been saying for a while, that you, you need to start learning programming. And it's you can finally certify those skills. So it's, gosh, I'm so excited. Well, guys, that's about it. Uh, this is me from Cisco Live. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post videos. And um, I'll catch you guys later.